everyone. It's Queen of Light 1111. How are all of you today? It's been um, a good week. Um, we've had, you know, a few readings that we've put out here on YouTube, two on Instagram. I'm going to try to be a little bit more frequent on Instagram. Um, I have been posting on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So if you're not following me on Instagram, um, do so at Queen of Light 1111. Um, that is my username. We've got a lot of cards, as we usually do on the table. Um, you know, I just wanted to do a, a, a longer one for Friday to take you guys into the weekend. So we've got messages from spirit. We have a message um, from spirit to the masculine, one to the feminine, and one from spirit around the connection. Um, we are doing, we're using the before tarot today to see where energy was for the masculine and feminine, um, in the before deck and then what the current energies are and then what will happen in the future. I will tell you that, um, right now what I'm seeing is the challenge is with the, um, the divine feminine. I just feel like she knows uh, this masculine or this union is occurring and will happen. And now um, she's a little, I feel like a little concerned about her independence. I mean, boy, isn't that crazy how the table has flipped here? I feel like what she's really going through right now is um, she is, it's kind of like, be careful what you wish for, right? And so I feel like she knows this is happening. And now it's kind of like, oop, I've been, a, a you know, my own person, my own queen for such a long time. And do I want to make the choice to partake in this connection now? And it's, it's interesting because, and I know it's her because nine of pentacles and the hermit comes out, um, you know, nine of pentacles comes out for her. And um, it comes out again in the future when I clarify the hermit's energy. We've got the fool out more than enough times. The fool is out one, two, um, three, four times in this reading. The hermit is out three times. So um, it's just really interesting to me where we're at today with this connection. So let's go ahead and get started. And I want to start with messages from spirit and messages from the um, or an end of the message from the masculine and a message uh, to the feminine from spirit. Because I want to get those cards off the table because I've got a lot going on today. So um, I'm going to start here with the Lenormand, okay? So with the Lenormand, the message from, from spirit around this connection is, one, there is an offer. There's an offer, okay? And there is an offer because there's an offer that shows up in her space a few times. So there's this offer that comes out, but when it's paired with the coffin card and then with this uh, mountain card, like this is an obstacle, typically what this is is this kind of ending of a social life, right? Ending of um, independence. <laughs> And it's a number nine, right? This number nine. And again, like I said, we've got the hermit and the energy, not only in the bottom of the deck for the before tarot, um, but we also have the hermit in the current connective energy and in the future energy. So the hermit's coming out a lot. And so what I'm getting from this combination so far is there's this offer, there's this coffin, there is this obstacle. And so right now it's kind of like an offer is made but that takes away someone's social life, okay? And that becomes a little bit of um, a challenge and kind of like, am I going to be able to maintain my independence? And so what happens after that is that she's going to make a choice. And this and this really, I'm glad this came out because I pulled the Lenormand at the end. As you guys know, I always pull Lenormand at the end. Because in the future energy, the last card out was the Seven of Cups. And when I clarified it, it's very much about this offer, right, that comes that comes into her. So it, right now, the energy is this offer comes in, the social life is over, this is a little bit of a challenge, so this is a choice. And so then the snake card with the clover comes out, and so when the snake comes out um, with the choices card, right, when it's because it's, yeah, I read it as a story, so it's very much about... Um, you know, there's a, she's at a crossroads about her independence. And why do I think it's her? Why? Because the nine of pentacles comes out in her energy. 
and she's also has the tower with the fool which is she's she's scared about this new beginning so there's an offer that will end her social life or her independence and this is a little bit of a challenge a little bit of an obstacle there's a choice that she's going to have to make around um this whether she follows her instincts or she follows her independence and then when the snake comes out with the clover that is about you know just taking um you know taking a risk so it, it's really it really feels like spirit saying here with the snake and the clover is taking you know maybe it's like this there's this desire there's this new luck and maybe take the risk and you know the fool is all about taking a risk the fool is all about the new beginning and taking that leap of faith forward and so it's very interesting to me um that this is one sits in the feminine space that she's kind of worried about her independence and and this maybe loss of it uh when they come into union and so she's very much in this choices energy about what to choose it's this is a little bit of an obstacle and whether or not she should take the leap the bottom of the deck for this uh, for the lenormand is the key okay the key 33 and so for me um the key is really like that's the that's the key that unlocks the cage and so maybe she feels like she will be caged right and when when she's in union maybe right maybe because she's been so independent because she's every queen she's the empress she's the high priestess she's been you know uh, you know on her journey by herself for a while and you know maybe she got a little comfortable with it so now the masculine's coming with the key to to and maybe it feels like he's gonna lock her in the cage but i think it's quite the opposite i feel like he's coming in with the key and he's going to free her and i think she's thinking of it very 3d uh which is because the queen of pentacles comes out a few times i just feel like maybe she's like oh now we're here and this is what i wished for um am i gonna feel like a caged bird but in fact i feel like it's the opposite and spirit is saying take the risk take the risk um and it's truly going to be that that key that opens the cage will free the spirit will free her will free this connection the next thing i want to go over quickly is what is the message from spirit to the masculine a blessing of health a number another number nine card so they're very much kind of in their independence right but he's working on something different and we'll go over that so this is a blessing for his health this is very much about you know maybe he's not been feeling well he has been in the nine of swords energy a little bit he has been feeling a little stuck so this is very much a message to the masculine about taking care of your health taking care of your mental physical spiritual health and so um these these journeys can be very very challenging these journeys can also be exhausting and it can affect the physical body so this is a message from spirit to the divine masculine um that they are blessing you with good health and to take care of your health for her the message is a blessing on your family and so maybe for her there are things that are going on within her connection um and within her family life and so this is very much spirit saying we're blessing you um with and your family and your family's health and wellness and so maybe she's been taking care of her family um and so this is spirit's way of saying uh, we are blessing you and your family okay and your connection so now the message from spirit uh to both of them as their connection for their connection and this is the last card in this deck okay 46 10 card of completion the separation is over almost over uh, this is the last card in this deck and it's about a blessing of peace after battle and so they've endured this journey they've been on this journey they've had considerable strength to 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 endure to persevere to move forward and now this card is blessing them with peace after battle i really feel like this is like i really feel like next week we're going to start to see more union uh more union energy like them actually coming together i don't know i just just feel that and so i feel like this week we're completing 
uh, we're, we're really making strides towards coming back together. I feel like maybe next week, I don't know. I'm not, I don't know. I don't have my crystal ball, but I just feel like next week we might start to see actual physical union. Okay. So I don't know. We'll see. But this is the last card in the deck and spirit is saying, we're blessing you both with peace after this battle that you've endured. Now, bottom of the deck for that is a blessing for peace of mind. So they're very much um, coming into peace, peace in their own individual journey, making their peace with their journey, okay? And so that they can now in their next steps make good decisions as how they move forward in their connection, okay? The next thing I wanna go over is how the masculine is viewing his feminine. So like, for example, you know, when he's thinking about her, when he's feeling her, um, you know, different from head, heart, and 3D space, because this is kind of the storyline. This is just like, you know, when he's sitting and he maybe he's looking at your pictures or your text messages, you know, what's what's that? What's that all about in, his, in that space? And so when he's looking at you and he knows that you're adjusting your energy, he knows that, there is something going on um, around your energy field and he feels it and it says your aura cleansing and health and so maybe again you're working on yourself and you're clearing out any toxicity and you're getting rid of things that don't serve you and you've had an energy field adjustment which he feels which is why he's also getting the card which is the blessing for his health so maybe you're sending him light to heal him in certain areas that he may need it his next card is that he's having visions of you he's seeing signs um, there's also astral travel, there's some clairvoyance, psychic images, so he's getting signs and synchronicities, okay? He's also allowing himself to open his heart and allow himself to be vulnerable. He wants to be vulnerable with you, and he also sees you, perhaps, as being more vulnerable. Why? Because you are each other's mirror, Okay, when he looks at you, he sees him. When you see when you see yourself, you see him. You are the mirror. You are twins. And so he's starting to see himself in you as you have seen yourself in him. And lastly, we have burdens lift, water flight. He's starting to feel like the burdens are lifting. Okay, the burdens are lifting. He's ready to fly free, to be weightless. And this is also this card, that Lenormand card with the key to unlock the cage, okay? So it's like we're both becoming free, free to come into union, okay? Because we've released ourselves from things that have not served us. Bottom of the deck for the mermaids is the crane bag. And it's because we have decluttered. Remember, I was just saying this, we have released things that didn't serve us, which made us lighter, Okay, so in this crane bag, this is about declutter. This is about choices, right? A choice for her, she's in choices. She's kind of like, do I want to give up my independence for this connection? He's getting rid of things that didn't serve him, as is she. So they are decluttering their space to make room for their union, okay? Now, let's go through the actual cards here for them. So now, for the bottom of the deck for um the before tarot because i did check to see what was going on in their space before bottom of the deck was the hermit card and i will tell you that they are the hermit currently and that they are the hermit in the future so they have very much evolved um, they have taken that star so this is in the before so before nobody really knew what they were doing okay they didn't know what they're doing they didn't know they were on a journey they didn't know they were on the twin flame journey this hermit is taking the star out of the sky to put it into his lantern to get on to the spiritual journey to learn about himself herself to learn um, and to open his heart open his spirit open his mind and her mind her spirit right her reality and her spiritual journey. So they're on this journey, the hermit's journey. This was in the before. And so as we know, they are on this journey now because it comes up in their current connective energy and it comes up in their future energy. Yes, this is also another card of number nine, which is about individuality because when you're on the hermit's journey, you are alone, okay? You are alone. You are learning these lessons alone. Um, yes, you have a soul tribe. Yes, you have people that help you, uh, you know, along the way in the form of family members, soul tribe, third parties, karmics, whatever it is. You're learning those lessons 
through those people, but you're very much on that journey alone, learning, deciphering, discerning. And so now for the overall energy for the masculine and the feminine, the bottom of the deck, nine of cups, another number nine. They're trying to figure out what their wishes are, how to make their wishes come true, okay? Um, the underlying energy for the masculine is temperance. It's too far for me to go pick because I have way too many cards on the table. So he's in this period of healing and there's something very, very specific that he is healing because the temperance card clarified that and we'll get to that when we get to his cards. Her bottom of the deck is the Eight of Pentacles. And she's like, man, I worked really, really hard. I worked really hard for this journey on myself, on my connection. And that's why now she's in this Nine of Pentacles energy, which is around her independence, around her confidence, around her self-esteem. She's finally gained her footing. She is every queen. She is the high priestess. She is the empress. And now she's kind of like, is this relationship going to be too much work? Can we make it work? Nine of Pentacles. Okay, that's her bottom of the deck. The bottom of the deck for the after tarot is the five of pentacles. The five of pentacles is you're finally out of the cold. The, this five of pentacles um, is a dupe to his space. It's come out two times for him, once in his overall energy, once in his headspace. And so he's finally feeling like he has help. He's finally feeling like he got the help. They're both finally feeling like they're out of the cold, out of this rejection, and that has healed and balanced their connection out the bottom of the deck for the clarifiers is the queen of swords the queen of swords is the queen uh, that is how she identifies herself in this connection she is staying in her truth she's rooted in her truth um and this is the the queen that she is representing herself with that he matches his himself with as we go through this he is identifying himself as the king of swords many many times um, as well as the emperor in his spread today because that is really what he is working towards being this honest truthful person because she he knows that now that they're coming into union now that they're coming together to actually have this final union i don't feel like this couple's going to separate now i feel like this couple's going to stay together now this is their final lesson this is she's she has ascended she has evolved she is in her confidence and now she's going to make the choice and now he is very much yes almost every king here too he's almost every king but um you know he he has learned his lesson and his big lesson was to be the king of swords and that is who he is becoming who he has become that has been his aspiration from the very beginning um in his energy and we will see that come through Okay, so I think I gave you all of the bottoms of the deck. I'm not going to do connective and future just yet, okay? So let's go ahead and get into the reading. So as we know, we do the overall energies first. So where is the masculine in his overall energy? Where was he before? So King of Swords in the before tarot. So, you know, he was he always has aspired and desired to be this King of Swords, someone who can take that sword of truth and have clarity and make good decisions and tell the truth and um and set a firm foundation right he's always aspired to be that that that's in the before tarot right he's always wanted to be that queen that that king rather that was his aspiration and so this is also about you know he wanted to have good judgment he wants to be powerful he wants to be commanding this is also a card of authority and the law so you know this is sometimes people that are maybe you know attorneys or law enforcement or whatever it is but this is definitely the king that is commanding um who is uh really really operates with good judgment and does right by people really does remember we had the service um card that came up on, in wednesday's reading about you know what their lesson is is there to serve others and so he wants to serve himself his connection um his people whatever it is that he does in a way that is um intellectual that is disciplined that is authoritative but also very much based and grounded in logic and intellect and in integrity and in the truth okay so this is the person that he has always aspired to be okay so um 
he's very much showing up and it's very interesting to me. I'm going to give you the spoiler alert now. His very last card out for him in the 3D space in the after tarot is that he is or has become, he's become, um, he's become this king of swords. He, he, and he ta he's taken that sword. See, look, he's taken the sword from the sky. So this is in the before, this is in the after. And now he's rooted it with his crown and he has rooted himself in integrity and in truth and in good judgment. It took him a lot to get there because this masculine man was not the most up and up guy. He was not the most up and up person. So now um, let's go ahead and get his story started for his overall energy. And then we'll do the same for her. Um, okay, so he was in the King of Swords. This is what his aspiration was. Okay, so now where is he right now? Where is he today? Today, in his overall energy, he has a little bit of a feeling of the Five of Pentacles, right? This is a dupe card to his head, to his heart space. This is a dupe to the after terror. He's going to get out of it. But right now, he's just kind of feeling like, uh, I feel a little left out. I feel a little out in the cold. I don't feel as warm. Um, you know, and he's just feeling rejected. He's just feeling a little rejected. He wants a new beginning, okay? I, this new beginning has to do with this feminine because that's in his headspace. And so I really feel like that five of pentacles has to do with his headspace because it comes up in his headspace as well around communication with her, with the feminine. So he's just like, man, I feel like she might reject me. I want this new beginning. She's my equal partner because she is all up in his girl right now. She is all up in his energy. I'm not saying she is talking to him. Uh, maybe they are, but sh let me tell you, she is very much like, do I want to give up my independence? Has he really changed? So I feel like she's kind of standing her ground. She's put her foot in it. And that's why she's like queen of swords. Right. Um, but he's just like, this is who I want to be. I want to be that match to you because she's the queen of swords. And so this is who he's aspired to be. And now that he feels like he's ready, he's scared that, you know, um, she might reject him of this new beginning. He wants to take the leap of faith. He wants to take the risk. He wants to move forward into a new beginning. He's open to receiving and giving now. He wants this reunion, three of cups, and a renewal of love, ace of cups. And I feel like also the message with the ace of cups is he loves himself now, right? So, you know, when you're, when you don't love yourself, you can't have, you can't love somebody else. You can't be in the six of pentacles energy if you don't have love to give. And so I feel like now that he is loving himself, he wants this new beginning. He wants this, he wants to celebrate with her. He, he might want to take her out. He wants to be with her and um, he wants reunion and a renewed love. So what happens after all of this overall energy? Well, he decides he's going to move forward. Both of the hooves are off the ground for this, this night. He is coming forward and charging forward um in whatever it is that he wants and i know it has to do with the feminine so that's what is in his overall energy like he's very much about his feminine right now she is all up in his energy that's that energy field adjustment card that we got remember uh this here it's like oh please don't get rid of me as part of your energy well if you're not serving her she did <laughs> right if, if it's if the energy is feeling toxic and heavy and sad then she did Okay, but it's helped the connection because it made it weightless. The burdens have been removed and now there's peace in their relationship. So now, what was what was her before, Tara? What was her overall energy before? Well, she very much, you know, knew she's always been ahead of the game, right? She's she's known that this was a spiritual contract. She knows that she wanted to take part in it. Um, this she knows that he was her long-term plan. This is about commitments. This is about contracts. This is about marriage. When she met her masculine, she knew she wanted to be with him. Um, she knew that he was someone that was unlike any other person that she had ever met. Her soul felt at home when she met him. So the hierophant, she knew when she started this journey that this was. A spiritual connection okay she knew that and so um the thing is her last card out is the empress and it made her this empress this journey just like his card out first card out king of swords his last card out he became the king of swords so for her and I'm, just so you guys know i'm channeling this real time because there are way too many cards this is all coming now so this hierophant card 
this contract, this, and I hate to call it contract, this connection made her into this empress. Granted, she did all the hard work, which is why she has eight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. She did all the hard work to be this divine feminine, this empress, this goddess, this queen in the 3D. She did all this. Remember, this is my 3D divine feminine. She did all the work to get here. And it is because of this connection, she is the empress. Okay, first and last card out. Hierophant, empress. This connection has helped her become the person that she is today. And that's why she's kind of like, you know, that with or without, with or without you kind of queen sometimes. Um, and so it's just very interesting to me that of all the queens that have come out, we don't have the queen of wands. Um, uh, because she's not in that energy of with or without you. She's in the energy of, do I want to give up my independence? I love you. I want the truth. I want to root this connection in the 3d. She's come out as those three Queens. Okay. So she worked really hard to become this empress and she shows showing up as the empress. I think it's also interesting that he shows up as every King, except for the King of cups. And it just shows me he's a little bit in his emotions right now. And he's not sure um how to balance that out to come forward to her because he wants her love right so for her energy this connection has turned her into this goddess okay into this empress so that's where she was before so where is she now well here's where she is she is in the queen of swords energy first card out queen of swords matches the king of swords as a court match to his before energy, King of Swords matches the, uh, I'm sorry, Queen of Swords matches the 3D space for how he is viewing her. He's viewing her as the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is the court match to his um, 3D after tarot. The Queen of Swords is a direct match to the Queen of Swords in the clarifiers. Um, so she's coming up with Queen of Swords a lot. So she's smart. She's wise. She is truthful. She is a woman of integrity. And so that is what she expects of her masculine who has had trouble with that in the past. He's had trouble um, with the truth. Okay, let's just call a spade a spade. He had trouble with the truth. Um, so she's a woman of truth and she expects that in return and he becomes that man of truth in the future. So Queen of Swords, okay? She's in the Queen of Swords energy. She does want reunion. Six of Cups is a match to her after tarot. She's conflicted about it, right? Because it comes up in the after tarot as well. So that's why we have the Nine of Swords energy. She's, I'm the Queen of Swords. I want truth. I do want reunion, but this reunion is giving me some anxiety, okay? I have planted seeds. I have rooted seeds, but now what is coming up? with this the tower card right so she's kind of like i want this connection i want reunion i do want union with my masculine um but i'm having more realizations and when i clarified this tower card it came up with the fool's energy and the fool as you know is a duplicate to his fool energy and the headspace and his fool energy in his, I'm sorry, in his overall energy and in his headspace, the fool also comes out in the future. And so for me, this is just kind of like, wow, this is really going to happen. This realization is, wow, this new beginning, it's, it's a real thing. It's, it's really going to happen. Am I going to be a fool again? Am I going to take the risk again? So I feel like this is what this fear is that the universe is stepping in and saying, Hey lady, Hey feminine, there's this, you're scared about this new beginning. You've wanted this new beginning. And now when it's almost in front of you, are you going to run or are you going to take the leap of faith? And so again, this is, this connection has made her this strong empress because she's realized now for a while that it is not about union. This relationship is not about union. And now that union staring her in the face, Okay, she's like, oh, Queen of Swords, let me, I'm, I want the truth, I want that match, I want that match of a king, the King of Swords, someone who's going to be truthful with me, someone who's going to be honest, someone who I can build a life with, and so she's in the Queen of Swords energy, she does want reunion, the reunion's giving her anxiety, you know, she's planted her seeds, she's wa waiting to see what's going to crop up, and then the tower crops up, and she's like, oops, you know, what's my realization, the tower clarified by the fool is, 
do I want to take this leap of faith? So what happens in the after tarot? She takes the leap of faith. She does balance her energies out. And um, the chariot card is a dupe to her headspace. Because I feel like a lot of this is logical. Nine of swords, right? The swords is all about your headspace, all about your thoughts. That's why that tower happened. She's like overthinking all of this. And the seven of pentacles is also in her headspace. So I know that that is what she's thinking about and talking about. Uh, or I'm rather thinking about as, as far as what her stress is, what her tower moment is. Her tower moment is, yes, I've invested her, with this king of swords who is a match to her queen. I don't want to get too ahead of myself. But in the after tarot, uh, what happens in the overall energy is that she's able to balance this out. And the chariot is a dupe to her headspace. It's like she figures it out. She does figure it out. So um, she's going to take part in the connection. But let me tell you, right now, it's like, it's like be careful what you wish for because now you know, he's almost in front of her wanting to come forward. And she's like, wow, do I want to give up my independence? Do I want to give up what everything that I've worked for? Right. Because she doesn't want to go backwards. So where is he in his headspace when he thinks about his feminine? Okay. So the first card in the before tarot was he was trying to let things go. He was not completely enlightened. Um, at this time, right? So this is the before energy. So in his head space, he was, and I'm glad this came out for his head because his head is what is enlightened. And remember in the before deck, they, it's, it has the underlying energies, the hermit's energy. So he went straight into the suspension mode to start. And I know it doesn't feel like that feminines, but he did when this journey started your trigger, when he, once you started to evolve and detach your energy, he went into the hanged man's energy to learn, okay? To learn, to understand what it is that he wanted out of his feminine and with this connection. So what is happening in his energy today? Today, his first card out is two of pentacles. He's kind of like, uh, should I, shouldn't I? How to move forward? I, he's unsure, okay? He's juggling his decisions, his thoughts right now, okay? Because of this fear of rejection, five of pentacles matches his overall energy. So I clarified this. What is this five of pentacles about? What is this rejection that he's scared of? Eight of wands. And so the eight of wands clarifying the five of pentacles is like, is she going to reject my offer? Is she going to reject my message? Is she going to reject my love? Eight of wands is a card of communication. Eight of, eight of wands is also a card of like Cupid's arrows moving towards, towards your person. And so with this five of shields and this eight of, eight of wands, it's like, I have this love for her. Remember ace of cups. And I, and this love has awoken in my heart and in my headspace. I'm like, is she going to reject my movement towards her? That's really what he's tripping about right now. Okay. And so that creates this halt to a swords to a swords is a match to her 3d space. And so he gets stuck again about how to make this decision around what this new beginning and the 10 of cups, this flew out together, the 10 of cups and the fool. And as you know, the fool is a match to his overall energy. So that's why I know his feminine is in his overall energy still yet again today. And so, you know, he's, he's awakened, he's juggling whether or not he should move forward and um, communicate his love, his desires. Um, but he's scared that she might reject him. So he's kind of not moving towards this new beginning right now. And this 10 of cups, he wants to have this union with her. Okay. But once he gets over this two of swords, what happens? He actually makes the offer page of cups. He makes the offer. Okay. So he will, he'll get around to it. I mean, I, I don't know when, and this feminine doesn't care when, because she's not attached to union. She's just trying to figure out whether or not she'd give up her independence. Okay. So he will come forward with an offer. What is happening in her headspace? Well, she was in the 10 of pentacles. She saw this connection as long-term, right? She saw this connection, 10 of pentacles. It's a dupe to the current connective energy. She saw this as long-term. She saw this as um, a connection that where she could build something long-term and have a legacy. Okay. So that's how she's viewed it. Remember she was in the Hierophant's energy. She knew that this was a spiritual connection and she started to plan long-term, but now where is she today? Well, today, today she is in the seven of pentacles energy, which matches the seven of pentacles in her overall energy. So again, she's just looking looking at this connection and all of the seeds she planted 
and then two of wands. She's also in the two energies, just kind of like which road to take, which road to take towards my king of swords. This is him. This is the masculine, okay? Because he needs to completely transform death, the death card. He needs to completely transform so that we can move this forward. Chariot, chariot matches the um, overall energy as well. So what I'm really feeling like, one, she knows that he is his match, but has he changed? Has he transformed? That's why that death card came up with the chariot. Those two flew out together. So for me, she's kind of like, I've invested my time, my seeds, my energy. Now it's time to make some decisions about which road to take. And she's unsure because is this King of Swords truly the King of Swords now? Has he transformed so that we can move this forward? Have things been balanced out, okay? She does want to move it forward. So what happens in the after tarot? Well, she um, starts to, you know, fight the connection maybe. Like, or not really fight. Because Two of Swords, typically she has both of both of the swords in her hands and these people aren't here so what i really feel like is happening is there's a little bit of yeah i'm gonna take action but what is she gonna take action towards so i asked for another card six of cups she, six of cups came up as a dupe to her overall energy which to me means she's again going to choose union with her masculine okay it's gonna take her a little bit to get there but ultimately um she's gonna choose union because she's gonna see that her masculine is actually coming to her with not just words, but with the action to back it up this time. So remember, that's the way to discern whether or not he has changed is if the words and the actions match. If you just get words, then be careful, be thoughtful. But if you get words plus the action towards you, then I believe there's change in the masculine. So where is he in his heart space? This was before. He knows that he took her cup right? Knight of Cups, he took her cup. She gave him her love, okay? And he knows he took it. And he, he probably also knows that he took it for granted. So this is what he is, That's this is what the energy was in the before. So in his headspace, he became enlightened. He knows that he, that she gave him a full cup. She gave him all of her love, okay? And then he went off with it, Knight of Cups. This Knight of Cups took the cup and he left with her cup. Okay, so what happens, what's happening in his heart space now? Well, now he's trying to be methodical, Knight of Shields, Knight of Pentacles. He's trying to be methodical, thoughtful about how to move forward with this offer that he wants to make, okay? He's also healed or is healing his heart at this time. Um, one, I really just kind of feel a couple of things I'm getting with this Four of Swords. I feel like he's forgiven himself for not really um, loving himself or her the way that they both deserved he's also probably healing and forgiving himself for not choosing this in the first place and that may be for the hurt that he put on him and her so i just feel like he's healing those energies and so what that does is it sends him into this page of wands energy where he's just kind of has this new inspiration to move forward to make a decision and message her okay so what happens with the page of wands he wants to message her so that they can get out of this rough patch um, and move into something smoother. Remember, there was the card here for the connection, blessing of peace after after battle. This is that like that six of swords energy, which is I want to get out of this battle zone that that we were in and move into something smoother. Okay. And so what happens in the after tarot magician? He realizes he has the wand, he has the sword, he has the cup, he has the pentacle, he has everything to make all of this come true. He has everything to make this come true. And so he wants to be able to manifest this, this uh, message, this offer, um, this cup into his reality. So where is she? She was in the Page of Swords energy. Okay, so in the before deck, um, the Page of Swords, I want to get the book out because just to be clear about what this is. Yeah, so this is about observation, vigilance, intelligence. So when this page of swords comes up in the before, in her, the before of our heart space is like, you know, she started to really kind of see what this connection was and was not in her heart space. Okay. She really did. So that's the energy she was in before. She's kind of like, mm, I've observed you. I've observed the connection. I've observed myself. And uh, this is also, you know, a card of, you know, being thoughtful, of being alert, 
Um, this page doesn't miss a thing, okay? And so she will research on her own, investigate on her own. And I feel like that's what she did. That's what she did and for her heart. She had to go within herself and see what this connection meant. And she had to see what kind of person he really was. Okay, and, and, and understand that in her heart space. And I felt like, you know, through this time that they've been together, she's observed that um, he wasn't the king and he needed, you know, he needed the space and she needed the space for him to become this king. Because I love it. I love that his first and last, last card out because she let him go is the king of swords. So now in her heart space, where is she today? Well, she's the queen of cups in her heart, which I love. I love this because that means her heart space, she's emotionally balanced. She's mentally and emotionally balanced, okay? She's balanced um she's balanced in her heart space. She's compassionate. She has understanding. She has a, she had the understanding to know that she had to let him go, okay? She had the maturity to know um, that this was for her own good too. She chose herself. She was compassionate. She uh, was understanding. She was um, very much mature enough to handle this connection in a way that was going to serve both of them. And if that meant detachment, then that meant detachment. And so in her heart space, after she observed herself, after she observed her masculine and this connection, um, where she is today, she is emotionally balanced. Okay. And here he comes out, King of Pentacles. Okay, he's also the king of pentacles to her. He is this, um, he, you know, she has this desire for him to be this stable, strong king. Okay, and so uh, this king of pentacles is a match to the queen of pentacles in the future, bottom of the deck, future deck. And the king of pentacles is also um, a match to the queen of pentacles in the current connection. And what I really feel like is he, he's starting to ground her and she can feel that that he is starting to kind of pull her down, not down in a bad way, but like ground her so that, you know, cause she's like in her independence, in her queendom, in her empress land, and she can feel him coming for her, okay? She can feel him coming for her. And I feel like that is why she goes straight into this nine of pentacles energy. It's like, whoa, I really worked hard to get here to be this, you know, strong, stable, confident woman. Like this connection probably broke her in the past. And um, she's gone through many dark nights of the soul and tower moments. And now her towers are being pulled back, put back up quicker. And so she's able to build herself back up and she feels him, the king of pentacles, grounding her for this union. And what it does is it throws her into conflict not five of wands, okay? And so she's in her heart space while she's understanding about why they separated and why they detached and what good all of that was for. Now she's like, I'm in conflict about how do I go into union with him? And so when I clarify this five of wands, I got the eight of pentacles, which is a match to her underlying energy, which is, I worked really hard on being confident and independent. I really worked hard to be this queen of swords, this queen of pentacles, this queen of um, cups, this empress. I worked really hard to get here. And so now my conflict is I worked really hard. I can't go back. I can't go backwards, right? Once you're awake, you're awake. And so I just feel like, you know, she's conflicted over or not, whether or not to choose the union. But what happens in the after tarot? She, again, chooses union, two of cups. She chooses union. She gets her head around it. All right. All of these flew out. Um, so now, where is he in his 3D space? Well, where was he before? Emperor, wanting to be the divine masculine, which is the match to her last card as the empress. So he hasn't come out as the emperor yet, but I will give you the spoiler alert and the future energy, he does. And they become this perfect match. I mean, let me tell you, I'm not painting any kind of love story. Some people have said, what a beautiful story, beautiful story, but I'm sorry. This is actually a collective couple's journey, a collective's journey, okay? And so he comes out as the emperor, all right? This is, this is not a story. This is the, the energy of that collective. And so this was, he aspired to be a man of truth, King of Swords first card out and last card out. And he's aspiring in his 3D space now that he knows he's healed 
himself in his deceitful ways. Um, now he's wanting to be that man, that masculine, so that they can come together and do what their life's purpose is together, okay? He's really, really, that is where he was before, and that is what he will be, okay? Um, he really will be, I believe in that masculine, this masculine. So where is he today? All right, well, where is he today? Lovers, choosing his divine connection. He's making choices towards his connection, okay? And I say towards the connection because usually this is making decisions around a relationship. But the next card out is the Queen of Swords. And who is my Queen of Swords? Here, overall energy, Queen of Swords. He's choosing his Queen of Swords, okay? He's made a decision that he wants this soul connection with his Queen of Swords. And so he's going to manifest that. He's waiting to have what this new beginning ace of wands okay he's waiting to bring his i was going to say wife he's waiting to bring his feminine home into this new and improved beginning so what is happening what happens in the after tarot in the after tarot oh my god i have the seven of swords and i was like um deceit what seven of swords and i said what is the seven of swords about and the king of, I said, I'm sorry, I said, what is the seven of swords about? And I was like, well, what was this? Because this was what was happening in his 3D space. Well, the seven of swords was clarified by temperance, which is his bottom of the deck. This is what this masculine has healed, temperance. This is what he's healed. And then the card that came out after the seven of swords, king of swords. And this is what he has become, king of swords. So he has healed this crappy energy remember the days where we used to get this card over and over again remember every time i get it it would be my trigger card trigger card what is he hiding what is he hiding clarify clarify now he's healed this and he's the king of swords he is the king of swords i mean i was I, I, you can't you can't make this up, right? Somebody quoted me several times on that on Instagram one time. You can't make this shit up. So, um, yeah, in his 3D space, he's choosing his queen of swords. And that's who he matches to be in the 3D. He matches his queen of swords. Do you see? She's now looking at him. She's looking at him. Her hand is beckoning him. Like, you can, you can come to me now, king of swords, okay? And he's looking at this eagle and that's what you send out in the three of wands is that message is that eagle right that's what you send out and so he wants to send that message that he is ready for the commitment because remember that is the clarifier that is what he's worried about right now is she going to reject my message is she going to reject my offer my desire is she going to reject my love that's another thing that he's stressing out about, okay? So now, where is she in her 3D space? Where was she? Well, before, she was like, I really want an offer. I really want an offer, right? She wanted an offer. She's She knew this was a spiritual connection that changed her. She knew this is someone that she could build a legacy with, but then she started to observe him, okay? And while she was observing, she knew she wanted an offer, but she knew the offer wasn't ready. Page of Pentacles. She knew the offer wasn't ready. He was just starting to get it, but he didn't get it enough, okay? So where are we with her energy today? Well, today... She's in the Two of Swords. This matches the Two of Swords in his headspace. It's like we're not really moving anywhere. We're not really moving anywhere because King of Wands, he hasn't really taken the direction, taken the shot, right? He hasn't sent the message, Eight of Wands. And so she's kind of like we're not going anywhere because he has not chosen his direction, King of Wands. And so that makes her feel a little sad, makes her feel a little sad. And so she just continues page of swords, matches the page of swords to her heart space. She just continues to observe him, okay? Observe him through, I don't know, what. however she's doing it, through cards, through social media. I don't know how she's observing him, but however she is observing him, maybe that's telepathically even, um, she continues to observe but what happens after the fact she is the empress she already is but she becomes this empress even more but i feel like this also is a card of uh something will be birthed something will be birthed in the 3d okay and i feel like that is this relationship that is this masculine um people are going to come out from out of out of the cold okay <laughs> excuse me 
Uh, usually when you sneeze and you say something, then whatever you said beforehand is what is meant to be. And so people are going to come out of the cold now and get warm with each other. Okay, energy adjustment. All right, so what is happening in the current connection? Bottom of the deck, again, nine of cups wishes like they're trying to figure out that was in their overall energy that is in their current connection so two things they are each other's wish okay that's that's the first thing the other thing that i get with the nine of cups is they also want to make their individual wishes come true so what are those wishes let us see first card out queen of pentacles queen of pentacles is the match to the bottom of the deck of the future energy okay so the future energy is the queen of pentacles the this relationship gets grounded that is also another reason why i feel like um we're gonna we're probably might see physical union next week okay queen of pentacles uh right now there this is her her is the 3d queen okay so um the queen of pentacles comes out right now right now they're feeling a little bit of burden on the connection she's in this nine of swords energy she's also kind of toying back and forth whether or not she would want to choose union he's very much in this air in this energy of um is she going to reject me how am i going to move forward um she, he's also healing okay so there's a little bit of um energy around uh, burdens okay they're feeling and trying to release burdens at this time because ten of pentacles they want each other long term ten of pentacles is a match to um her before tarot headspace so you know there's this queen of pentacles she's starting to get grounded there are some burdens in the connection at this time that still need to be released as we plan for the future Okay, we're still on our independent journey. Nine of, this is the number nine hermit. Okay, we're still on our journey, learning the last of our lessons. Okay, and this matches the hermit card in the before tarot. It matches the hermit card in the future. And so um, they've learned lessons. They're still learning lessons. And when I clarified, what are they learning right now? It was clarified by the 10 of pentacles. And so right now they're trying to learn individually how they can manifest this long-term commitment with each other without losing everything that they really aspired and wanted to be they i feel like he's everything he wants to be now she is everything she wants to be now and so how do we now bring that together into this ten of pentacles energy okay so right now that's what they're working on and it's creating a little bit of stress nine of swords matches the nine of swords in her overall energy uh and when i said okay what's this stress about okay and it was clarified by ten of cups six of wands we're stressed are we going to be happy together? Are we going to be successful? You know, can we build something long-term? These are the lessons they're learning right now. This is the final stage, okay? So now that they know they want each other, but without giving up everything that they have become. So this final lesson is we're on this journey. We have learned how do we bring this into the material world, okay? We're a little stressed. Ten of Cups is the match to his Ten of Cups. How will we be successful in bringing this now also into the Ten of Cups energy? How will we be happy together? Have you really changed? Have I really changed? Um, and so I just feel like they're learning that lesson, how to ground the connection, manifest it into 3D. There also, there's also some stress about how are we going to be so completely happy and successful? And the last card out is, is that because they're going to choose love. They're going to choose love. They're going to choose love over their fear. They're going to choose love over their doubt. And they're going to choose each other. And they're going to continue to love themselves. And they're not going to lose that independence. And I feel like the sooner he gets out of the rejection energy, the sooner she really comes to balance. Because I feel like he's feeling her energy, right? He feels like he's going to be rejected. And yeah, frankly, she doesn't even know if she'd take the cup right now or the coins or anything, right? Because she's kind of um undecided as well um so right now they're just um they're wanting to choose their love okay they're wanting to choose their love so what happens in the future 
Remember, the bottom of the deck is the Queen of Pentacles. So again, we stay grounded. We continue to ground the Queen. And so what happens, we are still in the Hermit's energy in the future, okay? So we're still, um, right now, we're still kind of learning about what? These two cards, Nine of Pentacles, Chariot. I feel like this is still very much the um, feminine's energy. This 3D Queen who now all of a sudden, I'm sorry, this you know, this ascended evolved queen who now has to operate in the 3D, queen of pentacles. She has to come back to the 3D to root this connection and have the union. Okay. So that's why she's at the bottom of the deck. And so she's kind of like, am I going to give up this independence? Am I going to be able to balance this out? These are both the cards that showed up in her space. Nine of pentacles in her heart as the king of pentacles tries to ground her the queen of pentacles, okay? The chariot is also in her um, headspace and it's also in her overall energy. And so this is really like, you know, I'm on my journey. They're both on their journey in the future still. And how do they maintain their own independence and balance this within the relationship, okay? But what follows the queen of cups? She goes back into her heart space. She goes back into her heart space in the future and she chooses love. Queen of Cups matches her heart space, Queen of Cups, okay? And then what happens? Then the ace comes. The offer comes of a new beginning in the material world. And the new beginning comes, the Fool card, which is a match to his overall energy, a match to his headspace, a match to her overall energy. The new beginning happens in the material world and we have now the emperor, okay? The emperor, he becomes the emperor, all right? So after the emperor card, I'm like, oh, that's beautiful, but the emperor flew out with the seven of cups. And so I was like, um, what? And so what I got from this was, okay, yes, they're on their individual journey. There is this independence that they're still trying to shed and balance out how do I be my own person while I'm in this union. They choose love, which triggers the Ace of Pentacles, the new beginning to come out, uh, the new beginning and the Ace of Pentacles to come out. He becomes the emperor. And then we kind of get into this dreamy state. Choices, choices, choices. Is this is this the illusion? Is it? Am I in an illusion again about this offer that just came in? Uh, I need to be strong. I need to heal, right? But yet, what I got was the death card. The death card matches her headspace. And so what I really feel like happens is this confusion ends. The confusion of whether or not this was ever a twin flame connection. See, you also have this infinity symbol here, which a lot of people um, you know, take to be kind of, you know, an, an, a twin flame indicator. What happens? Was this an illusion? Was this was, this was not an illusion. Everything we worked for that, everything that we changed one of the days that we were like, is this real? Am I in a fantasy land that all of that dies? All of those fears die. We heal that and when we get this offer, we realize it is a much stronger connection because we've tamed our egos. We've tamed the beats, the beast within, uh, our masculine has, has been uh, not tamed, but, but changed. And now there's strength in this connection. And was this confusion? No, what this was, was a transformation of two individuals on a journey of evolution, on a journey of ascension, and a journey of healing, okay? Which then the offer is made and the connection is strong. That's real-time channeling. So I really feel like union, maybe next week, guys, I just feel like it, it just might be happening. I don't know. Don't quote me on that, but that's the energy that I'm feeling right now, that union is very, very close. I know we are almost at an hour here, so I am going to cut it short, uh, or not short, but just wrap up with, I wish you guys all of the best. Um, I wish you all of the, the luck, the love, the light on your journey. Continue to choose love. Choose love over fear. You've already chosen yourselves. Choose love over fear. Choose love over doubt. 
choose love every day. Choose love every day and you can't lose with that, okay? Have a great weekend and I'll be back next week. Bye-bye.